Hi, uh, this is Malla. Yeah, today I'm going to uh, explain about the conditional branch. The conditional branch we can route incoming requests to the different business service based on the different conditions like equal, not equal to, less than, less than or equal to, greater than, greater than or equal. So based on the input content, input message, we are going to route message into the target system. So for that, we are going to use conditional branch. In the previous session, we discussed about the operation branch. So operation branch, it's work based on the operations, but this conditional branch is, is, is different. So based on it will work. Um, uh, just assume that if my salary is greater than 30,000, so I am eligible for loan. So uh, if I'm my salary is less than 30,000, I'm not eligible. If my salary is 30,000 to 60,000, I can get loan around uh, 2 lakhs or 3 lakhs. So like those way we can uh, use our conditional branch. Okay. Okay, let's start the uh, demo. For condition branch project, then so let's first try this project. Okay. So, uh, so here I'm created class uh, four. This is a conditional branch demo service. Okay, I'm going to create. I created small XLT like employee details. First name, middle name, last name, age, salary, address, jeep, and the result. Uh, okay, uh, this is a very simple XSD what I created. So based on the XSD, I'm going to uh, create proxy service in the pipeline page. It's the same thing. I'm going to take HTTP here. So I'm starting here. Conditional branch PS. Okay. Uh, as well, I'm creating pipeline. Next. So not any maximum is a message. Conditional branch. Conditional branch visual. So this is our uh, synchronous interface. What I'm going to create. Let's use payload. I'm taking input as a employment details. Output is a result. Okay. Okay. So here I created this step. Based on the visual, our JDEV created conditional branch PS and conditional branch pipeline. So I'm just opening pipeline. Okay, by default, it uh, we have to 
show that expression so which one you are going to take the input element what I am saying so just execute request employee details so here based on salary we are going to routing our message in the different branches okay so I'm going to first branch in the first branch so this first branch you can make it as like my salaries and then sorry so this is greater than 30,000 you can see that so greater than 30,000 so then in the expression I'm just entering 30,000 make it okay here what is greater than so my salary is more than 30,000 it means then I'm taking another branch here this is less equal or less than 30,000 okay. take the expression less than or equal 30,000 Save it and write your last one. The same like I'm going to replace the body. Then in the expression I'm just writing long approach. So you can add whatever you want, like permit add name come then tag first name and last name first name comma give some space like this comma this last name comma Status save close. Okay, what I'm doing, I'll do something explain like this one. Whether if I able to run status. And it like this service. Okay, I got this. So here I'm going to test now. I'm going to test console. So what I do? So my first name is so last name is XB and the salary I can see thirty five thousands and just export it. Okay, so OSB loan status is loan upload. So what I will do, 
I will make it is 25,000. Last x with this loan rejected. So like uh, this way we can use our conditional branch node in our OSB service. So you can implement as per your requirement. Um, that's all for today. Signing off. Mala.